जय हिंद टू ऑल आई एम समिंदर सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग इन अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद आई हैव टेकन कंपाइलर डिजाइन इन द ला इन द फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट शिफ्ट रिड्यूस पासिंग दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन ऑल एस्पेक्ट एज फार एज कंपाइलर डिजाइन कंसर्न वेदर यू आर गोइंग टू study regarding aktu exam or for any other competitive exam like nat or you get anything it is very very important let us discuss in the today's session we will talk about what is bottom up passing then shift reduce passing if time remain then we will briefly discuss about lr passing and slr passing totally we are we will devote our session for this what is shift reduce passing before telling anything about shift reduce passing since it is a bottom up passing let discuss what is bottom up passing a bottom up parser creates the parser tree of the given input starting from leaves towards the root this is first thing in all bottom up parser we will start from leaves leaves means we are starting with a string a string we will start our passing with the use of given string so the pass tree that is going to design constructed by means of this passing will be start by means of a string and towards the root here root means the starting symbol so clear in bottom up parser we will start with a string and our processing will end up to start symbol let's see the second point that is a bottom up parser try to find the rightmost derivation of the given input in the reverse order just like this one this one as a process we will we will understand how this start symbol going through a number of steps to make the given string by reversing this into reverse by reversing this process we have find the clear image of bottom up parser this is what the right most derivation of double omega this is the string the bottom up parser find the right most derivation in the reverse order we will see in next slide bottom up parsing is also known as shift reduce parsing because it two main actions are shift and reduce here we are using two words first is shift and second is reduce at each shift action the current symbol in the input string is pushed to a stack this is all about a, this shift action what will what we are doing by means of shift shift action the current symbol where in input string input buffer is pushed to a stack and the second operation that is at each reduction step this is second thing second action the symbol at the top of the stack whatever we have on the top of the stack this symbol sequence is the right side of a production at every step we have to see the ta- the top element of the stack if we found it is similar to the two any productions right side then we will reduce this or we can say will be re- replaced by the non terminal at the left side of that production i think you can understand this and there are also two more actions these are known as accepting and error these are the four thing we will do in shift reduce parsing a shift reduce parser try to reduce the given input string into the starting symbol that was already discussed a string what is a string the starting symbol reduced to 
means string is going to reduce into starting symbol by means of number of steps at at each reduction step a substring of the input matching to the right side of a production rule is replaced by the non terminal at the left side of that production rule if the substring is chosen correctly the right most derivation of that string is created in reverse order right most derivation this starting to starting symbol to given string shift reduce, shift reduce parser finds this starting step to start uh, string to starting symbol by means of rightmost derivation this is the sequence let's take a simple grammar these are the grammar having five production rules where s is the start symbol this is our first production then we have second production this is third production rule then this is fourth and this is final fifth so the given grammar have five different production rule suppose we have input string that is a a a b b these are the collection of symbols having our input string so in you can see how this starting symbol convert it into given string first we convert this into a small a capital a capital b small b by using first production rule we can convert this first conversion then after using rightmost derivation you know rightmost non terminal has to be converted has to be reduced so rightmost is what b so b is converted into small b by using fifth production rule so we are using fifth production in the same thing now we have only single non terminal that is rightmost or leftmost both but we have to counter only rightmost symbol so again we are using this non terminal and this non terminal is converted into small a small or capital by using second production rule so this is two again this a is converted into small a means we are using third production this is third so you can see after the number of after the number of production rule we are utilizing this is string into given non the given string by taking this into reverse order means starting with this one then how it is converted to this one this by using third so in first we are utilizing third production rule to make this into this format then using second production this is converted into this and then using fifth production this is converted into this and after that using first production this is converted into s or we can say start symbol so in you in reverse order in which we are using rightmost derivation approach you can easily understand the shift reduce passing approach this is how starting first this to this using third production then this to this using second production then using this to this using fifth and finally this to this using first production in each case we are using what rightmost derivation so this is the process that is known to be shift reduce parsing how do we know which sub substring to be replaced at each reduction step by using the given the yeah, appropriate production rule you can see now next topic is handle what is handle it's a technical name let's see the definition a handle of a string is a substring it is a substring that matches the right side of a production rule 
बट नॉट एवरी सब स्ट्रिंग मैच इज द राइट साइड और ऑफ ए प्रोडक्शन रूल इज हैंडल टेक्निकली या मैथमेटिकली इट इज डिफाइन अ हैंडल ऑफ ए राइट सेंटेंशियल फॉर्म डेल्टा अल्फा बीटा ओमेगा इज अ प्रोडक्शन वेयर ए कैपिटल ए बिलोंग्स टू बीटा एंड ए पोजिशन ऑफ गामा इज वेयर द स्ट्रिंग बीटा मे बी फाउंड एंड रिप्लेस बाई ए टू प्रोड्यूस to produce the previous right sentential form in a right most derivation of this one this is how so starting symbol converted to this way and this is converted to this way you can see this is this is starting symbol is converted by this by using a appropriate or valid production rule here we are converting this a into small uh, beta so just look at the previous thing where i am substituting replacing as with this one by using this clear now second way this is yeah we can say all these symbol which is represented by red red color that is small a capital a capital b small b is replaced by means of single non terminal this is capital s by using a production so this is known to be handle handle is what it is a collection of terminal or non terminal these are the collection of terminal or non terminal when we found these collection at the right side of any valid production rule of the given grammar then we replace it with a single non terminal so these replaced non terminal by means of the collection of terminal or non terminal this collection of terminal or non terminal is known to be handle this is what we are if the grammar is unambiguous then every right sentential form of the grammar has exactly one handle you know very well what is ambiguous or what is unambiguous ambiguous means every string has only single possible past three if it is more than that this is out our approach so here these thing these intermediate format with with within a start symbol and a string we use a term that is right sentential form we will regularly call this sentence so these are the thing that comes between a string to give a, a string to start symbol so we can say if a grammar is ambiguous and un, unambiguous then every right sentential form of the grammar has exactly one handle which is going to replace by a non terminal by using any by using any valid production rule mm -hmm. now you have clear about handle next term is handle pruning what is handle pruning a right most derivation in reverse can be obtained by handle pruning this is how this is right most derivation in reverse where so we can say start from delta and find a handle this one where we are replacing a n to beta n this is how then we find another handle that is a n minus 1 to beta n minus 1 in step number delta n minus this is repeated until we get the starting symbol so complete process complete process is what starting with string up to start symbol or where we can say rightmost derivation in reverse where we found number of handles is known to be handle pruning just one this one one five here we are founding an 
then a n minus 1, then a 2, then a 1, and then a i, a 0. So, these complete process is known to be handle pruning. Now, what is shift reduce pass? <laughs> so, again, as a numerical, we will solve what is shift reduce pass. Here we have four possible actions. First is shift, then reduce, then accept, and fourth is error. Shifting means the symbol is going to shift into stack that we are using, that we are using in implementing this shift reduce parser. Reduce reduction of any possible symbol or collection of symbols into a valid non-terminal by means of the or by means of the production rule. This is how. Let's see. Suppose this is the given string id plus id asterisk id. So we can see in the first case we convert id into f by using sixth sixth production rule. Let's see, this is first, second production, this is third, fourth, this is fifth, sixth production rules. Now, first ID, starting from left, scanning is always take, take care from left to right. First symbol is what? ID. ID is getting replaced by capital F non-terminal, where if by using sixth production rule, you can see ID is replaced by capital F. Now, second terminal, second is what? Again, F can also be converted, F can be converted to T. In second, we have reduction that is F is going to convert into T by using fourth production rule. In the same manner, T is replaced to initial, yeah, we can say start symbol E. Here, the production is second. T is going to convert into non-terminal capital E. This is third reduction. So, these are three reduction. In the next case, we have plus. So, E plus. We are matching this with all the right, all production rules right side. We are not getting appropriate result. So, we will go to next symbol that is ID. ID is again converted into F then f is all again converted to t then this is t so at this point we have what e plus t now we are taken next symbol that is since e plus t is not e plus t is what need not to convert next is what next is Next symbol is asterisk, so we are taking asterisk, then id, id is further reduced, reduced to what? Reduced to f. So, this is, now this becomes e plus t asterisk f. So, you can see t asterisk f can further reduce to t, this is how. So, so in the next thing, we have E plus T. Since this is converted to T, you can see easily. So, by using third production. Now, we have E plus T. It is reducible. Yes. In the first production rule, that clearly tells if we found E plus T, that can be reduced to non-terminal or this is a special non-terminal. That is a start symbol. So, this is E. This convert to E. And we, when we have only just right one symbol, one non-terminal, or we can say if we have only one start symbol after all processing, this is known to be succe successful, or we can say it is a completion of our shift reduce parser. Now we can implement this approach by using a stack implementation. So, stack implementation of a shift reduce parser. 
so there are four possible actions first is shift then reduce then accept and last is error what is shift it is the next input symbol is shifted onto the top of the stack means by using shift operation or action we are going to shift the symbol what symbol that we found in the leftmost position of the input buffer so we are shifting that symbol into our stack and second possible action is what replace the handle on top of the stack by the non terminal simple reduction we will already discuss this thing reduction is what when we found collection of symbol that is the similar from any production rules right side then we can when we are going to reduce these collection of symbols into the respected non terminal so this is our second possible action next is accept what is accept this is completion of successful shift reduce passing so this is successful completion of the passing it is uh, third possible action of our app and then is possibility what possibility fourth possibility that is error parser discover a syntax error and calls an error recovery routine if we are not getting these three possible action then fourth possibility is error so this is fourth case so these are the all possible things that can happen during a stack implementation of a shift reduce passing now initially stack just contain only the end marker end marker you know so there are two end marker first represent the stack yeah or we can say empty stack for representing empty stack we are using a special symbol or we can say end marker dollar and second end of the input string is marked by the end marker after scanning all the screen string symbol if we found no symbol then this representation is also represented by end marker dollar now you can see we have given a string and we have three uh, two things first is a stack and second is input buffer in which we store the given string in this particular case we have a string id plus id asterisk id then we have dollar dollar is what it represent the and marking to or we can say this is this showing this is the last symbol after last symbol we are including dollar and stack empty stack always represented by means of dollar sign so this is initially representation of shift reduce passing and th a third column represent for action what is what actions we are taken during this let us start in the first symbol is what id id is shifted shifted to where shifted to in uh, stack so we are shifted this into id so this is now stack hold one symbol that is id now we have to check where from top of the stack this symbol is a handle handle is what which is replaceable or not replaceable if it is replaceable known to be handle yes it is replaceable by means of a valid production rule that means f gives id so id is replaced by f so id is a handle clear now hand, uh, id is replaced by f so we are taken what action reduce in first case we have action is shift shift means just shifting the leftmost symbol into given stack in the second case we are going to reduce this id by f now again this f is also reducible to t 
using second and other production rule in the same manner we also create reduction here we are reducing this t by capital e another non variable now this is this is case where we have capital e in the stack and this is remaining portion of the id of the given string so in this particular case we are unable to reduce further so we are going to next symbol that is plus so again we are calling first possible action that is shifting so shifting this into stack so now we have two symbol in the stack e plus again e plus is not a valid combination of symbols so we go again we call again shift so in this way we have three symbols that is e plus id so e plus id only id is uh, reducible so we are using id to f again f to t so there two reduction we are reduce action is taken in first way id is converted to f then f is converted to t so in this particular instance we have three symbol in the stack that is capital e then plus then capital t now again we are calling shift shifting the next symbol asterisk then again calling shift that is id is going to shift then again reduce this id to f then this complete then this complete combination of symbols is convert into we have reduced by non terminal t this is how so this is completely in this way we have this is going to reduce to t now we have three symbol that is e capital e plus capital t again it is also a valid handle it can be reduced to capital e so this is e now you can see in the last step we have what we have a starting symbol in the stack no symbol in the input since we have end marker here so this is the representation of next action that is a sap you can see where if stack contain starting symbol or we have no symbol remaining in the input symbol so this is known to be accept state or we can say accepting accepting means we have generated the output and what output parcel always generates pass tree now you can see what pass tree we are making this is the pass tree that going to generated by means of this complete shift reduce passing now see how it is generated in the first step what is going to here it is shifting we are shifting what id so first case id is shift now second is what id is going to reduce so id is id id is what reduce to f this is f in the next we are going to reduce to t then we have next symbol that is plus then we have next symbol that is id id is further converted into f and then t this is t and again we can say this is f then t then so this is next thing so here we have three t plus this is t this is t plus t okay e plus t now next thing is asterisk then we are using id id 
ID. So this is how this is generated. ID, then this is converted into F, then E, then this thing again by T and this T is E and this T E F is E. This is how our here required pass tree is generated. Pass tree is generated. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Jain to